we are down in Lexington, Kentucky, and something very interesting has brought me here, something that played a major part of my childhood, and I'm at the Lexington Cemetery, and I've come to pay my respects to a certain individual who not only made most of my childhood, but is a really big inspiration on me loving movies so much. You might know him. He goes by the name of Jim Varney. He played Ernest P. Whirl, all the Ernest movies. You've probably seen him. Ernest goes to camp. Uh, Ernest goes to jail. Ernest scared stupid. And my personal favorite, Slam Dunk Ernest. This is really interesting, but it's kind of sad. Uh, I'm, it really upsets me being here, but I wanted to do this video and show people where he's buried at so we can pay our respects together. So let's do it. It's not too far of a drive off the highway. You get off the highway, you come into the cemetery and you make a left and you just follow it all the way comes in through there and you just follow it all the way here parked right there and his grave is right over here people have left guitar picks they've left chains they've even left pictures So when I was younger, I had to have been at least, I don't know, five, six, seven, somewhere in that age range. Um, I was introduced to Jim's movies. Um, he played in some other things, but he was most known for his role as Ernest. And I gotta say the Ernest Scared Stupid is my favorite simply because I love Halloween and of course I watch it around Halloween time like every year because obviously that's a must especially with me um, and then Ernest in the Army because at one point I was going to enlist in the Army and that's pretty much what made me watch the movie and let's see Ernest Goes to Jail was a good one I love that one um, but there was something about Ernest Slam Dunk with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. That one was my favorite. I thank Jim for making these movies. I thank him for putting in all the time and the effort to do these for entertaining everybody. And I think it had something to do with the shoes <laughs> that he wore in Ernest Slam Dunk. I wanted those shoes so bad. Uh, Jim definitely gave me a lot of laughs. It was great. It's really sad that he passed away and I decided to come here because just a couple weeks ago marks his anniversary date of passing away. Uh, he passed away February 10th in 2000 so it's been 20 years since we've lost Jim. Crazy to think. I, I wonder, it makes me think where he would be right now if he wouldn't have passed away. Um, man, it's, it's just tough being here. Fortunately, Jim caught uh, lung cancer and passed away. I think it was in his home in Tennessee and they brought him up here to be buried with his family. Uh, it looks like his parents are buried right there there family siblings i think i'm not sure but that's that's really cool and i decided to make a little trip up here well technically down here because i'm live in ohio to visit jim pay my respects 
and uh, yeah. Looks like it's his parents. So as you can see, I brought some change to pay my respects to him. I'm gonna put the change right here, hopefully, without dropping it. It's the back of it. There's a quote. Suffer the little children to come unto thee. Very interesting. I know most of you have heard the phrase, you know what I mean, Vern? This guy coined it. It says, so making uh, gravesite videos isn't really something I'm really into doing. But, um, James, Jim, Varney, will always hold a special place in my heart just because of my childhood. And, you know, I'm not doing this to, you know, get any kinds of views or get, you know, people to dislike me because I'm doing a video on his grave. This is simply me showing my respect for one of my favorite comedians, actors. So I hope nobody takes this in that form. I'm trying to be respectful as possible and just pay my respects to him. That's it. Rest in peace to one of the greats. You're definitely missed. We all love you. And I hope you're doing good up in heaven, my brother. Sorry if I'm getting a little emotional. This is kind of hitting home with me. I don't really like to show emotion, but this one definitely has got to me. Um, I've seen, I've seen uh, Paul Walker's grave, and I've seen Ryan Dunn's grave, and both of which have had a very much impact on my childhood, but definitely nowhere near as much as Jim Varney. Um, I just hope, you know, people enjoy this video. And, you know, get somewhat of a, what am I trying to say? Get somewhat of an idea of how great Jim Varney was. He was a good guy, and um, he's definitely going to be missed. And I hope you guys like this video. I like doing it. I really enjoyed coming down here and paying my respects to Jim. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one.